morning students in today's class we are going to see about the fifth chapter in geography that is the composition as well as the structure of atmosphere right coming to the atmosphere the atmosphere consists of the air components as well as other molecules right so the first thing is about uh, the air components what are the components are there there are different types of ox uh, like gases like oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen and uh, helium water vapors etc the percentage for all the things are coming to nitrogen it is about 78 percentage and uh, oxygen is about 21 percentage and uh, uh, carbon dioxide is 0.04 percentage right next we are going to see about in detail so now the first thing is about the nitrogen cycle what we are going to see is about nitrogen cycle coming to nitrogen cycle that is nitrogen so here what do you mean by nitrogen plants get uh, plants get nitrogen from the bacteria right it is the bacteria which is present under the soil that is if, if we take it is a root it is a tree root right the bacteria will contains in the root only so the plants get nitrogen from the bacteria present in the soil or the root nod nodules so here only the bacteria will present next the bacteria converts atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds like which can be readily absorbed by the plant the process of conversion from fixation of nitrogen is called that is the fixation it will be fixed so it is known as uh, nitrogen cycle the root will be fixed to under the soil right so uh, it is known as fixation of uh, fixation of nitrogen is called as nitrogen cycle animal that is while the animal aquas that is while the animal eats the plants automatically it will contains the animal will eat the plant so nitrogen uh, convert it into the nitrogenous component like while uh, uh, raining what are the things present there that is the rain molecule the rain drops as well as, as well as the thunder also be there so uh, the com components due lighting and raining the enormous energy has been released uh, during the lightning strikes uh, the nitrogen molecules and allows their uh, atoms to be combined with the atmospheric oxygen so it forms an oxide right while the combination of the all the molecules that is rain uh, raindrops as well as the thunder so all the things will combine and it forms what oxides oxide of nitrogen right the next thing as about as the rain falls down so when the rain falls down it comes to the plants so when the plants absorbs it the the that is the rain rain will be absorbed the plant will be absorbed so it will form the plant will absorb so it forms what nitrate right while while this has been uh, after that while the animal has been uh, grazing on the grasslands automatically what it will transfer to the animal also so this is the nitrogen cycle so the nitrogen component in the excess or extract of the animal are broke down as nitrogen waste such as uh, urea so where, while the animal intake the plant automatically the outtake is what urea right so urine nitrogen waste of the animals and the other nitrogenous component are found in the plant mix with the soil then they break down into the simple nitrogen um, components and atmospheric nitrogen by the other bacteria this process uh, of the cycle is known as nitrogen cycle so this is the thing nitrogen is nothing but is the 
plant and animal need nitrogen to survive so it is uh, essential for living as living things like plants right the next thing we will see about oxygen as we all know human uh, human will breathe uh, oxygen and uh, it while while we breathing we will intake oxygen while we when we release the oxygen what will come out carbon dioxide will come out right as well as uh, the carbon dioxide is a food for the plants so the plant prepares food in the form of photosynthesis so it releases plant prepared food and releases oxygen by the process of photosynthesis as well as human and animal take in oxygen and release what carbon dioxide most creation need oxygen to what Re respire so while we the oxygen is one of the most essential part in our lives right the circulation circulation of oxygen in the atmosphere is called oxygen cycle it is it is nothing but it is a, just a circulation the plant as well as that is water the plant will uh, create a carbon it will give gives um, creates oxygen with photosynthesis uh, reaction so that human and uh, plants breathe in oxygen it creates oxygen and in we will breathe in oxygen right and release what students carbon dioxide right breathe in oxygen and uh, and then plants automatically takes what carbon dioxide humans and animals will uh, give that we will inhale oxygen and uh, while we exhale what we will exhale carbon dioxide so we will exhale carbon dioxide so the plants will absorb it uh, carbon dioxide right carbon dioxide this is the process of oxygen cycle it is clear that we will need oxygen it is important for our day to day life and then the plant will uh, create oxygen so that with the help of the photosynthesis uh, process and then it will uh, the our that is animal as well as uh, human beings will breathe in oxygen that is we will inhale oxygen as well as and uh, while exhaling uh, that what will what we will uh, exhale is that carbon dioxide right this is the process of the oxygen cycle next we will go to carbon dioxide right we will see uh, we have seen about oxygen and nitrogen now we are going to see about the carbon dioxide as i say as i said in oxygen it is uh, nothing the process of while we inhale it is oxygen while we exhale it is an um carbon dioxide this is the process of carbon dioxide as well as what is the major thing is that it uh, earth, the earth will uh, absorb that is the earth uh, warm by absorbing the heat radiated from the sun by the surface what it uh, what will absorb students like uh, uh, the plants only absorb so of the plants to the outer space right
this is a, the this is a major thing the earth will earth warm by absorbing the heat radiated from the sun by the plant to the air, outer space so the plant will uh, absorb the all the carbon dioxide so the may the next thing is about while there is an increase that is while automatically increase in the uh, uh, heat that is the temperature uh, there will be what will form there will be global warming will be formed so this is the thing uh, coming to the carbon dioxide next we this this is for some of the gases like the major gases what are the what are the students it is nothing but oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide these are the three major ga uh, gases formed in it next we are uh, going to see about uh, the layers of the atmosphere these are some of the components of the atmosphere now uh, we are going to see about the layers of the atmosphere right the layers of the atmosphere as the bomb water water molecules and uh, which consist of land right the next thing the first layer is troposphere the second layer is about stratosphere the fourth layer is thermosphere and uh, the last layer what is it it is nothing but exosphere right right these are the things it's an earth it's an earth right there are five layers they are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and then exosphere the first layer is what students it is about the troposphere we are going to first one is troposphere shall we repeat students how many layers of the atmosphere are there there are five layers there what troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere i repeat how many layers five layers there are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and then exosphere we will see one by one the first thing is about what troposphere the first layer it is a lower most layer the lower most layer
as well as it is uh, the kilometer is about 12 kilometers it is 12 kilometers from the earth from the earth surface and it is the lowest uh, lowest lower most layer right next that is from the equator you know from the equator the radiation is that it is just 20 kilometers away right 20 kilometers away right and then in this layer what are the things will be done so it in this layer there are uh, there will be wind rainfall thunderstorm all the thing that is all the thing will comes under the troposphere what are they rainfall and uh, hail storm right these are the things will occur right what do you mean by trop uh, troposphere it is the lowest most uh, layer in the earth as well as it is uh, it is just 12 ki kilometers away from the earth and uh, from the equator it is just uh, 20 kilometers away and in this layer what are the thing will happen you know it is nothing but uh, rainfall and hail storm is will occur in this layer next we will go move on to what uh, stratosphere the first layer is troposphere is finished next we are going to see about the stratosphere in sta coming to stratosphere the second layer stratosphere in stratosphere uh it is uh, it is just from the earth it is uh, 49 that is 49 kilometers away from the earth how many kilometers the stratosphere is available from the earth it is just 49 kilometers away right and uh, here the stratosphere the word strato you know stratosphere the word stratosphere has been derived from the latin word stratus name the word stratus it has been derived from which word student it has been derived from the latin word latin word status spell the word s t r a t u s status you know spell the word stratosphere has been uh, derived from the latin word status your status which means to spread over so right the meaning is that what to spread over spread over or spreading out right spread over Uh, spreading out and uh, in this layer the thing which are okay, in this layer only like uh, the air jets aeroplanes and jets are being moving in which layer stratosphere layer in which layer the aeroplanes and jets are been have been moving is that in the layer no stratosphere aeroplanes have been moving here aeroplane jets etc right this are the thing what come what do you mean by stratosphere it is just from the earth surface it is just 49 kilometers away and coming to that uh, the word stratosphere has been derived from the latin word status which means to spread over or uh, spread out next uh, in this layer the aeroplane or uh, and jets have been moving here in this layer only 
The next, uh, the third layer we are going to see. What, what is in third layer? In the third layer, that is mesosphere. In mesosphere, it is from the Earth's surface, the kilometer is, it is just uh, 85 kilometers away. As well as the temperature in the mesosphere is the temperature of the mesosphere is at ninety degrees Celsius. layer student coldest atmospheric layer as well as There is a boundary between the mesosphere as well as the troposphere and it has been named as mesopause, right? It, the boundary between what and what? Mesosphere as well as the thermosphere. The boundary between the mesosphere and thermosphere uh, is known as mesopause, right? Boundary. The boundary named is known as? Mesopause. As well as so minus ninety degrees Celsius, right? It is an average temperature. And uh, this other thing, right? The mesosphere from the Earth's surface. What is from the Earth's surface? It is just uh, what uh, 85 kilometers away. As well as in mesosphere, the temperature is 90 degree minus 90 degrees Celsius, and it is that, that is the average temperature. And it is one of it is one of the coldest place in the uh, coldest place. As well as uh, it is uh, the boundary between that is the boundary between the mesosphere and the thermosphere. That is the boundary is known as what mesospa mesopause. The boundary between mesosphere and the thermosphere. That is the both is known as what mesopause. Name the word mesopause. M e s o p a u s e. Name it M e s o. P A U S C Mesos Pass, right? Next, uh, the fourth layer is about thermosphere. In mesosphere, one thing has been left over that is, in this layer, when the, the, uh, the, the asteroids will come, right? While the asteroid has been entering into the layer, Meteoroids catch fire due to the meteoroid. The meteoroid will catch fire while they are entering into this layer. So why why it is uh, catching fire? Because it is cool cool in nature. While so that while the meteoroids has been coming into the layer, automatically it, uh, catches fire. So. Catch fire due 
due to frictions this is the reason so right this is a thing next we will see this is about the mesosphere next we will see about the thermosphere right the fourth layer is about thermosphere the fourth layer is thermosphere it will uh, there will be uh, increase in the attitude that is latitude attitude is known as thermosphere there will be increase in the attitude attitude name that altitude a l t i t u d e name it once again a l t i t u d e altitude there will be increase in the altitude so the temperature will rise as well as the lower part that is the lower part of the thermosphere is known as what ionosphere the lower part the lower part of the thermosphere is known as ionosphere right no ionosphere the lower part of the thermosphere is known as what student ionosphere i repeat the lower part of the thermosphere is known as ionosphere right and uh, and it has been it can the thermosphere contains an electrically charged component known as ions right it has been contains electrically charged particle electrically charged particle is known as ions right ions as well as that is that you know the ionosphere reflects uh, radio waves and enables the radio transmission ion from one point uh, to the another point next another common phenomena in this uh, thermosphere is that collision of electrically charged particle collision of that is collision of electrically charged particles as well as uh, the kilometer is uh, from the earth to the atmosphere the kilometer is 700 right from the earth surface what is the kilometer students it is just away from 700 kilometers from the earth it is 700 kilometers away right 
and uh, the temperature that is the temperature of this in this uh, layer is that Five hundred to two thousand degree Celsius. Five hundred to two thousand degree Celsius to two one. That is sorry, two thousand degree Celsius. This is about the thermosphere. Um, thermosphere is nothing but the temperature increases, the attitude, as well as the lower part of the thermosphere is known as what? Ionosphere. The lower part of the thermosphere is known as ionosphere. The spelling of ionosphere is I O N O S P H E R E. And uh, the third one is about the that in uh, thermosphere, there is an electrically charged particle is known as ions and the, the thing is that from the earth uh, how many kilometers is uh, it is away it is just 700 kilometers away right this is the thing about the atmosphere the last layer that is the fifth one exosphere the fifth layer is what students it is exosphere From the earth, how many, uh, how much kilometer it is away? It is uh, just uh, 700 plus kilometer away. From the earth's surface, seven hundred to ten thousand uh, kilometers away. As well as in this uh, exosphere, it contains a light gas known as helium gas. So, in this exosphere, what gas it has been contained? It contains a light gas termed as helium gas. Light uh, gas. is known as helium gas. Here, the that is, you know, the air molecule of the the, the, that is the air molecule of the atmosphere will push us, pulls out the gravity due to the gravity and escape into the outer space. Right up here from this atmosphere, it, due to the, it will pull due to the gravity and it will escape out of the atmosphere. Right, this is the thing coming to the exosphere and it is the outermost layer. The exosphere, it is just an outermost layer. These are the some of the uh, layers of the atmosphere. Uh, Let us recap what are the things we have seen today's class. The things which are uh, coming to the first thing that is components of gas. Components of atmosphere we will say right, right? components of atmosphere in components of atmosphere what are the things uh, what are the things we have seen about we have seen many uh, gases like what students nitrogen
ऑक्सीजन हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड अदर गैसेस राइट सो यर ये नाइट्रोजन एंड यर कम्स ऑक्सीजन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड यर एंड यर इस other gases right the percentage for uh, nitrogen is 78 percentage and for oxygen is 21 percentage and for uh, carbon dioxide is 0.04 percentage and the rest percentage is for other gases right the rest percentage right it contains 0.03 percentage, 21, 0.93 percentage, all the things, right? Here, other gases. What are the things, students? Like helium gases, helium, water vapor, hydrogen. Water, vapor, hydrogen. Right, these are the things, right? Um, and next we have seen these are the some of the part components of uh, atmosphere. As well as we have seen about uh, uh, the nitrogen cycle and oxygen cycle also. Here are the major thing is the oxygen uh, nitrogen water thing we have seen as well as oxygen we also seen. Next, uh, then we have seen about the layers of the atmosphere. What are the layers, students? Layers, right? Uh, there are five major layers. They are troposphere, stratosphere. Uh, thermosphere and exosphere. I repeat, what are the layers we have seen? Um, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and then exosphere. The five major layers uh, we have seen above. And uh, the assignment for uh, today is that draw uh, draw the layers of the atmosphere and label them. Thank you.